Hello everybody, Shift here again with our Magic Craft Run, the roguelike create your own busted build game. And today I will play with more ones than one. I did not run on my own so I get more meta progression a bit so I can do a showcase here. So now I have access to three ones and that's gonna be very visible as to why it's busted in a moment. The corridor isn't for welcome people. Uh, story, yeah we have the chat um, icon here. We are uh, Giorgio, Giovanna, or whatever. And we unlocked hard mode, so hard mode adds one more zone, which is still under development, but we're still gonna play it. Let's do it. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope triple one is gonna carry us. So we got shooting potions and switch ones, one to four. So you can, I guess you can have up to four ones. And we destroy the opponents, and we got the most useful uh, common spell in the game right now. So this is 30% chance to automatically cast a spell when using another wand. So this is for a wand. I need another wand for this to make sense. Uh, money or spells, we're gonna go spells, in my opinion. We will need a lot of spells, especially if I want to create some stuff. I would like to create a summoning wand. Uh, I would also like to create some kind of wand with a bunch of spells and damage. I don't know. Oh, sorry, I have a phone message that I need to see. Uh, it is what it is. Give me a second. I can I can do it without getting damaged. Easy enough. I have my hands away. Well, the message is not really that important. Oh, this guy is when he gets hit, he moves closer to you and has exactly 70 life. That's good to know. Reverse knockback enemy. And then we got the guys that just become immune. Yep, let's go. Come on, man. Let's go. Okay, at least there is no mechanic that says you need to stop attacking. Rainbow, it's a projectile. Four damage. Shoot seven evenly spread projectiles. Number shot seven. Okay, that's cool. And 12 serum, summon creatures, max HP plus 40%, and summon creatures, 2.5 HP percent. That's nice, so that's for the summoning build. Can I see this? Okay, it's a shotgun. It's a shotgun attack. It makes us have mana issues, by the way. But it's a shotgun for sure. Nice, and I do enjoy it in the first place. Was that crits? No, I think I'm doing the damage anyway. It felt like we're critting. No other ability on the rainbow, though. We have the trash one. Let's go another spell. Uh, we need spells in general anyway. Shotgun, boom, let's go over there. Is this an egg spawner? Nice, we're out of mana. Yeah, this is a spawner. I'm actually out of mana, unbelievable. Okay, got it. Shotgun the, shotgun the good old... The good old Spidey boys. Shotgun these guys down. What are you doing? Let's go. Boom. And now, let's also destroy this with a good blast. Yeah, nice. And these give us money. The reason why I'm breaking these before I open this up is because I don't want to make a mistake. Uh, radius, that's nice. And wet. This... Uh, the right spell is released when the left spell ends. The right spell inherits turns and chance in terms of damage with the left spell. So, something like this. Oh, the shotgun happens there. I like that. I like that. The shotgun happening somewhere else. Uh, let's go max life. I don't really want to go into the forge yet. I mean, I can go for the forge later. Uh, the only good thing with the forge is maybe throwing bullets in. Like the magic bullets in. But I don't think I should do that yet. Let's go for more max health. Max health is important in general because there are things in this game where um, there are relics that deal with you having max health. The shotgun play is awesome. I love it. Doof, doof. Shotgun, boom, boom. Like it, like it, like it. I could do the opposite too, by the way. I could do this, which is seven bullets, right? Nope, uh, this is seven bullets. Yeah, seven bullets. Seven bullets or one bullet that shotguns. Potato, potato. DNA attempt shield, by the way, it's not potato, potato. DNA attempt shield equal to the amount of lost HP. Okay, and 20 max life, and we don't have keys, that's bad. But it's okay, we're gonna find keys later. Let's uh, go ahead and get a relic. Relics are the most important thing in this game, in my opinion, just go relics all the time. Uh, the best relic I could get really would be something like, you either get 4 choice instead of 3, or you reroll relics. Those are two relics that are really powerful. Let's go. Uh, you know what, I want to do the opposite. Shotgun blast the face. Boom. Did that guy just spawn another thing? No, I think the opposite's better. And it's also cheaper for that matter. Shoot, go. Nice, got him. And let's also get the relic. I don't have a good build right now. Radius of influence of spells and relics, 10%. Yeah, maybe AoE build, 10% damage. Should I try an AoE build? I think AoE build is the play. 10% damage is always safe though. Let's go with the universally useful thing. Let's go with that. And our relic anyway. Where are we? Oh, it's the it's the guy that come closer to you. That was very fast coming closer and then instantly died. Shotgun. Uh-oh. These are not something I can really handle easily. And our shotgun. <laughs> the shotgun. What is happening? Ah, oh, come on, man. Explode on death. Character summon limit times two. Oh, that's nice for summon build. Should I try summon build? 
I will definitely get some summons because of the ones we're gonna have. 8% chance to drop a coin whenever an enemy is killed. This is a lot of money very early. I think I should go with it a lot of money very early. Because I'm thinking about this. If I kill 100 opponents, that's 8 coins. On average, on average. If I kill 300 opponents, about 20 coins on average. Uh, double summons. Or just heal 5 each floor. This might also be really good this time. I'm gonna go here. Let's go free healing. We need some kind of healing anyway. Might as well get 5 per turn. Okay, the shotgun blast does a job, actually. It's not attack for a moment. Let's uh, make sure that the shotgun's gonna hit. Famous last words, man. The most famous last words. Nice. Shotgun, nice. Boom, and we won. Boom. Oh, I do really enjoy this rainbow thing that's going on right now. Rup, meta progression, and let's get the new wand. And we either go with the old wand, which is... Uh, is this the same as other, uh, just mana and mana regen and fire interval and cooldown? And iron will... Um, less mana, more mana regen, slow, uh, uh, small interval and a big cooldown. And this does accuracy, higher crit chance, but it has more scatter. And this is less scatter. So without this, you just fling wherever your attacks. I guess we go with the iron will. Um, and I would say we just transfer everything over and use this one right now and switch these and because I'm going to be using this now but look at what the play is this has 10 mana regen, that's 12 the play is I put on this wand that it has a chance, a 3% chance to cast a spell so now whenever I'm shooting yeah, you saw the way I shot twice at some point that's it uh, I could also do this for example I could say this combo is actually on the off wand yeah and these normally, I just attack normally. And whenever the other one happens to shoot the secondary shot, it shoots the secondary shot. Yeah, I think that's why we're going to use this. So I'm doing main attacks. And then the offhand one is shooting the shotgun blast. Whenever it decides to do so. Let's go. For money. Let's go. Yeah, the, the missing is not really that fun, but it's okay. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Roll some toast. Spiders. What is this? First time I'm seeing that spider. Machine gun spider, that's a thing. Oh, this is explode on death opponent. I'm learning, man. I'm slowly learning. Slowly but surely, I will learn everything. And more opponents. Explode on death over here. I believe all games that have explode on death uh, should definitely make it so that the explode on death happens after uh, some seconds. Like, it should be toot 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 boom. Something like that. It shouldn't be just, oh, you hit me, you die. You die. Was there a bra... Was that money? No, it's it's not the rainbow sound. There, that that is money though. Nope, it's the heart. Well, my memory is to rush. Uh, let's go. Let's go with new spells. I definitely want to find something that's better than what I currently have. Mm, I'm start believing that I should have the shotgun blast part of my main build. Avoid. Let me destroy that because the shotgun blast is literally deadly. I didn't see that. I'm poisoned? Well, doesn't matter. We have healing anyway. And at the end of the day, we even have healing on the map. Can I make this bigger? Is that a thing? It is, I guess. Nice. Avoid, avoid, and beat this guy. Summon more stuff. Summon more stuff. Oh, nope. That was the wave. And we got our cane explosion. At long last, I have something useful. And ghost fire. Which, um, yeah, it's ghost fire, I guess. It's just a spell. 3D damage. I would like to Arcane Explosion. Yeah, I would like to Arcane Explosion with this. So I would say this with Rainbow. Yeah, Rainbow Explosion. Exactly what I want. How much mana does this spend? Everything. Oh yeah, it does spend everything. It's one shotgun blast. And then I can rotate over to the other build. Right? Or I can have this going on, for example. I attack, and then whenever it wants to, it does the shotgun blast. Yeah, I mean, I can do it with the opposite. How much mana is this thing? 12 and 63. Yeah, I'm forced to have it like this. But it's okay. I can do this. Yeah, I'm using the bottom one now, while the top one just destroys everything. You go here, and you go here. Yeah, nice. I do enjoy that. I think it's good. Shotgun blast. Yeah, perfect. So, teleporting to a random location and taking damage. Um, I don't think so. Let's go for a spell still. Shotgun blast, go. Shotgun blast, go. Boom. Nice. 
Perfect. That's exactly how I want this to be going. Whenever I get the cooldown on it or whenever it gets the mana. Oh, I almost got hit. Almost got hit. I'm using my normal attacks. Oh, this guy's on hit. Do the AoE. I see how this, that opponent works. Let's get the spells. We got Frost Crystal. Hit targets will be frozen. Rare. Thunder Style Projectile. I want to see those in action. Well, this cost too much. Okay, Lightning on the Ground. I do enjoy this in general. And... Uh, freeze Opponents. Hmm. I'm thinking Arcane Explosion as I had it. Is this on hit or on cast? Chance to monthly cast a spell when using that one. Okay, on uses. So I'm gonna say we do the freezing. And we just go with triple attacks that freeze. That's it. I don't have keys. Unbelievable. Let's go here. Uh, is, is the frozen permanent? Okay, obviously frozen should not be working on bosses, right? Now, first of all, this, this, this really feels like I'm gonna be able to just freeze everything forever. Uh, not right now, obviously, but maybe later. Let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm just hoping we're gonna find a better one with more mana region on my secondary so I can do this shotgun explosion more often. Uh, this is not gonna be the build at the end. HP limit plus 3 and MP limit plus 2 when using a potion. I'm gonna use like 5 potions throughout the whole run, so this is 15 mana, uh, 15 health and 10 mana. I'm gonna go this. All enemies take 15 damage per second at their rate. Uh, radius is decent. What is this? Healing spring. I don't need that. I'm full life. Let's go max life. Oh, that's nice for destroying debris. And just running close in general, because I have the freeze. You see, I have the freeze. And as long as I have the freeze, I'm not afraid to be close to you. Nope. Nope, nope. Avoiding everything. And let's go. Freeze the, the slime. It, it's not permanent. The freeze is not permanent. What's this? Traps increase damage to oneself and summon objects by 100%. Uh, this does not feel that bad, but I really don't want to open up cursed chests. Ah, let's do it though. Okay, and we got a key. We got two keys. Nice. That's actually good. We didn't have keys. So now I just need to find something that removes the curses, which is possible, by the way. I know it for a fact. Open this chest up. What is this? What oh, the max MP. Oh, nice. That's good in general to have. I'm going to assume that that's even better if you have it at level 2. I'm going to assume that it does something additionally. Which I really much enjoy in this game in general. The fact that this game gives you additional stuff when you level them up instead of just being plus damage is awesome. Magic missile that follow behind you whenever you kill an enemy. The limit with the potions. Chance to heal when enemies are killed. Let's go with max health and whatnot based on potions. Open up. With a key. With a, these two. These three. So boom, boom, boom. And then the rest. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Easy. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Easy enough. And we got an already upgraded Arcane Explosion. Perfect. So, this does... Yeah, as I was trying to say previously. Uh, from 18 damage, right? From eight, 15 damage, 30 damage. From 25 crit chance, 25 crit chance. From 3 meter readers, 3.2. And now, it also has generates an Arcane Explosion in radius of 0.5 times when killing an enemy unit. So it does explosions within explosions. I don't want it here. I want it... I would say here. Chance to do an explosion, which is around us, right? Excuse me? Oh, uh... Yeah, that's it. It's explosions that fire each other. Yeah, we got a nice AOE close to us. I enjoy this. I right, I could do this. Right? Yeah, and this sets this up. And this says the right spell release when the left spell ends. So ah, at the end it explodes. No, that's not useful. And I could do the opposite, obviously. So it's explosion, and then it sets up a lightning ground. Yeah, that is something I enjoy, is what I would say. Because this should combo with that. Because this says on death, when this kills something, it generates a, a, another another explosion. For each enemy killed. So 0.7 times when killing an enemy. So if this explodes and then the explosion explodes, it's going to set up more than one thunderstorm ground. What does this look like? Explode, please. Ah, uh, no. We're gonna go with the lightning on the ground. Let's go, money. I wanna see this in action now. That happened instantly. Come on, explosion. Avoid the hit. Yeah, you see the mini explosions, but the lightning ground did not set up. So that's good to know. We do not get multiple lightning grounds set up when the crane explosion happens. We just get a bunch of small explosions popping all over the place. Which is also good, of course. 
Uh, but it's not as awesome it would have been if it popped lightnings within lightnings within lightnings, right? We obviously need to get chain reactions going. Nice. Off to the boss fight. Let's see how this is going to go. Do I gain anything from destroying these? As far as I know, trees give you nothing. I'm 99% sure trees give you nothing. Nice. And we're done. Maybe there's an achievement for clearing out everything. Nope. Chaotic wreckage. Um, I guess we are supposed to stay close. Uh, loop around. Ah, I don't know why I zigzag. Never, ever, ever zigzag in these games. You should always loop around. I'm not doing enough damage for us to matter here. Oh, it's dying. Stay away. I do enjoy this exp arcade explosion thing that's happening. This uh, explodes and then allow, uh, puts lightning on the ground. I like that. It goes well. And we won. Very nice. Get the healing. We're full healed. And we get our third wand. Which is awesome, obviously. So we either have two-headed dragon, which is a force. There is a lock here. Forced multi-shot. Uh, MP cost 150%, but the spell becomes multiple shots of two times. That's nice. In general, this is really powerful, but 80 mana maximum is bad. Although I have the more max mana. I might take this for the for this thing, because it's going to make the explosions of... Or can explosion happen three times, and then the lightning is going to set up lightnings of lightnings within three... I think this is madness if I take this. Um, all ones affect radius plus 50%. Yeah, I'm going to go with this. <laughs> I'm going to go with witness greatness, because this is obviously what I want to get. AoE and AoE with, for the AoE. So you guys get transferred over there now. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, you become, as of this very moment, nothing. Yeah, as of this moment right now, nothing. Does this fire faster? Have more mana regen? Yeah, it does fire faster. It has a bigger cooldown, but the first version has bigger, better mana regen. So, can I do this? Yeah, this is better. So, I would say... I don't want this. I want this. What does this look like? No. I mainly care about... Yeah, I mainly care about this thing firing often. So, we're gonna stick with this. And I'm gonna even go ice. Yeah, I'm shooting into random direction, but that's irrelevant. I think Ice is the play, and let's go on. Let's go to Act 2. It took us only 17 minutes. Uh, if we continue this way, I'm not even going to take more than our famous last words. That's never going to happen. Uh, I would say we go even more spells, honestly. I still don't want to combine. I do know that I have three things that I throw out, but that's irrelevant. Come on, shoot my explosion, please. Here we go. Uh, although I start feeling that my main one should be this. And not my off wand. And now that doesn't make sense. Why would I have my way wand be the AoE? Void boom. Easy enough. Yep, here we go. Let's see what we get. Uh, MP cost 150. Split. Uh, more mana. Spell split in three weaker spells after the spell ends. And laser. Laser is makes fire interval and cooldown good. It's really good in general. Makes the wand even better. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah, that's make it makes the one better. And how does split work on these? Ooh, yeah, but the others do not set up the. Uh, does this set up the setup? Ooh, that's cool. I like this. I like this explosion within explosions, and then it sets the things up. But the thing is that this makes my mana spending so much higher, which it, it is not worth it. Uh, let's go relics. Uh, but first, let's get meta progression. I think at the end of the floor, meta progression should be gathered onto you. Let's go with relics. As I said. Okay, let's go. Opponents are dying from the traps, by the way. I'm waiting. Let's go. Um, yep, explosions. What is that? What hit us? I don't know what hit us. I guess there are exploding death opponents here. Just gonna slowly trickle over to the left. No, don't... No, ah, explode on death. God, I love that, man. And we got the relic. The relic is 3% chance to summon a homing soul that deals 65 damage when killed. 11% dodge, that's nice. Reduce the indiscriminate damage taken to 1%. I take this as it is. To 1%. So that means if I ever get anything that says indiscriminate damage, which normally means that I can hit myself with my own attacks, I'm only going to be taking 1 damage from that. Lose life for potions. Grant immunity to Venom and Slow in the current room. Guard Venom 
uh, around and slows enemies behind you for 10 seconds. Oh, I already had one. Gain temporary shield equal to amount missing. Gain temporary shield equal to amount missing. Okay. Um, we're gonna drink both of the temporary shield amount missing. And I'm gonna also take this. And we go. Is this healing shrine? No, we're gonna max life. And let's drink this. So now I'm farting because that is a thing in this game. And uh, yeah, I think we won. By the way, this is moving me. I'm not even moving. I'm, I'm not pressing anything. Nice. Let's go on. Uh, let's go with the AoE there. I would say max health. Even more spells. Even more spells. By the way, I should also be paying attention to left and right. I didn't even see if there was any... Uh, what is it called? Any secret room or a key room? I'm seeing it right now, though. So my editor is most likely going to make fun of me and find it anyway if I miss anything. Whoop. That is his job anyway. Let's continue destroying things. Let's go over to... Ah! I avoided, luckily. Nice. Oh, I almost got hit, but last second. Good thing I didn't have the... Do I have the thing with the traps? I would have gotten hit heavily there. Mana region, that's nice. Rock and ball. Okay. Uh, mana region would be nice for the wand I'm using for the, the spells with. So that it fires the thing more often. So I would say let's actually do that. Yep, so it's a bit less AOE, but at least I, I can have more of them now. What is this? Rock and ball, 15 mana. I want to see this. It's just a ball. We're not going to use that. Uh, let's go here. Wait, I don't have keys? I thought I had keys. Well, we lost a very good spell, because those most of the time give you good spells. It is what it is. Exploder boy. Explodes and explodes and explodes. It's a triple exploder boy. Ice is not as powerful as I would have hoped it to be. Does not seem to be freezing opponents as good as I would have hoped it to be. Nice, continue setting things up. I would like to get a spell wand. A spell wand, or, or a mana wand or something. Oh, bye bye you. Open up. And we got money. And now I have 82 coins. Now I would like to go spell crafting, I would say. I'm definitely better than uh, coins. Okay, first of all, we're gonna combo these. Secondly, we're gonna throw away things I'm never gonna use, like the flame. I'm not gonna use the flame. We got two accuracies, that's nice. Uh, another thing I'm not gonna use is the small arcane explosion, is what I would say. Because we already have a good explosion. Nice, and I got that. We're gonna obviously combo those to even see what it gets. That's not it. This is it. It gets perfect accuracy and 20% crit chance. We can reroll rares, by the way. We can reroll upgraded things anyway, so... Uh, next thing I'm never gonna use. I would say the... I, I don't enjoy this. I'm not... Do I? Will I go pets? The rock and roll is gonna go. Leg wire. Cast the first shootable spell on the right when this spell effect ends. 3 damage, 1 mana. Okay, so you go here. Does this work? Did it shoot a laser? Yeah, it does shoot a laser. Okay. And maybe with you it's better. Okay. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Is the play here. Mana regen. I would like to reroll split, honestly. Although, I could have split here. And then how much mana is this? This is not my main damage. My main damage is this line. I'm gonna say three stays. Split goes. Uh, yeah, this definitely goes. This is orbitals. And our laser. Nice. This definitely stays. So, can I have two lasers here? Does that make this thing... Whoa. Lasers make the wand insane. In general, lasers make the wands insane. Okay, that's that's good to know. Uh, let's throw away the max mana. Rebound. I don't care about this. Or can explosion again? No. The hit target movement speed is minus 60%. Its spell projectile speed is 80%. The hit target's movement speed is less and its spell projectile speed is less. What? I have freeze. Mr. K... That's a summon. Uh, I would like to get a summon, honestly. The head. So if I go here and here... I would say let's go here. The accuracy and crit chance goes here. And this is the keg and freeze. So we go here, boom. No, uh, you do not need to exist. Uh, yeah, we can go, yeah. Boom, summon the... Yeah, and here we go. The, the the summon is here. I can only have one, but I don't care. So we have the summon, and then we also have the other wand. 
Oh, nice, nice, nice. I do enjoy what we have going on here with the laser beams and whatnot. And this actually combo? Is this free? No, I'm spending mana for this shotgun idea. No, 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 I don't want to be spending mana. I think we're good here. As long as I can maintain my mana high, we're good. I think we're good. Uh, I don't think I can combine anything else. We don't have money. Did we? Oh, let's throw this away. I'm not even using it. Spell hover is in place for two seconds after it ends. Uh, boring or stupid? Oh, actually, no. Ah. Uh, I mean, it looks cool. And maybe even is. But I'm going to try to find something part of the build. Someone else. No, I don't care about this. Ghost snakes. We had that yesterday. Spell damage. Spell damage is always a choice. This stays in the build. Uh, let's go. Uh, we have 57 coins. I think I want to keep the coins for... No, no, no. Let's go shopping. Whoa. We found the thing I already have. This thing. The leg wire. I'm going to take that. Navigation. Spell tracks the target nearby 15... Yeah, this is actually good. Tracking shots is good in general. I buy this for 16. What is this? Self-aware grimoire. Summon limit 3. HP 40. Record... Record and use the first shootable spell on the right. The Grimoire has 50% chance summoning... 50% uh, of the summoning mana region. I, I think this is good in general. Bucket. Bookwit. Book... What? Okay, this first of all seems insane already. This has mana region 12. This is mana region 14. This has a lot of slots. Do I have money to buy this? I have money to buy this. This is a lot of slots, more than what I'm using. Also gives us a spell a gift. And also has a very crazy cooldown and interval. I'm taking this. Over the sword, obviously. The sword's the useless thing here. There was a key for six, but whatever. So... Yeah, look how fast this fires. And just like that, I'm out of mana. I guess we don't need these. I guess we don't need these either. Yeah. This alone is already crazy fast. Let's do terms and crit chance. Uh, tracking. Yeah, better tracking, I guess. Leg wire that shoots leg wire. Is that a thing? Oh, these now also have tracking. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. Leg wire, leg wire, laser, laser. Yeah, I just go in a room and boom, 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 laser everything down. I would say leg wire is not needed. This definitely needs needed. Magic bullet. Yeah, that's it. That's how we're gonna play this. Eight man on the butterflies. They do 12 damage, but you shoot three of them. Maybe I don't need this either. Maybe this is the play. Normal shots. I'm kidding. Normal shots and two lasers. Yep, as long as I can attack fast, we're good. Uh, let's go to the boss. Either way, there is no reason whatsoever to keep this wand. Get the sword, obviously. 12 mana region, 10 mana region. Obviously, we got the sword here. And... That's it, actually. Let's go. I'm super sad. I don't have money. More money? Seven coins. Let's go, I can buy the key. Easy. Off we go. Okay, this is the boss. Wow, the boss is dying. Wow, the boss is dying. I mean, I'm out of energy, but the boss is definitely dying. Whoop. Yeah, my, my little pet is some... Okay, we. I want to go pets now too, so I want to find the pet things. I obviously have troll summon on this thing, so it's healing and super defensive. Does this actually work? Affects or shootable swords on the right. Okay, uh, obviously recast. So now this guy has regen. Uh, let's get... Whatever we get here. Serial spell. Uh, left spells release. Right spells at 80%. Magic cost while in flight. So that's cheaper. And 80 mana. I got the box plus. And it's just plus 80 mana. So that's disappointing. So does that mean if I do this and the mana, obviously. If I shoot, it shoots lasers? Whoa! This is awesome! But the mana, obviously, is a real issue. Yeah, it's, it needs to hold your energy away. I want to test this out, though. Uh, what? How does this work? Uh, it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. This also doesn't work. This? Nope, the opposite. This? This looks so sexy. And you tell me that if I also do this, it's going to be a laser at the end? Yeah, but it spends so much energy. I like this. And then... Love it. Love it. This is super cool. I want to try that. What is this? Tracking shots. Spell power. Don't miss. This has plus 60 shatter, minus 6 scatter. Uh, I can shoot this very fast in general, but I want to see this in action. Relic time. Yeah, a bunch of shots that shoot out shots. Uh, not as crazy as I would have hoped. Uh, this is better. 
Is it? It looks cooler. Might not be better. Well, we definitely have energy issues anyway, so let's go back to what we had. Which is just a bunch of energy. Hey, I would like to get mana regen at this point. Uh, for my main spell, which we do have mana regen. Let's do this. Let's do the switch over here. And we got the relic. I I'm not even paying attention as to what is happening. <laughs> uh, display units HP, enemies that is. Gain one refresh chance every time you find a relic. Godlike. Someone three elves that can interrupt crystal project. This is godlike, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna go with one refresh, and I'm gonna hope to find the um, thing that previously was mentioned. The um, yeah, my my this guy is freezing opponents, which is really good. Now we actually have a good build. Now, now I have a build. Now I want to find, first of all, another troll blood so I can make this guy immortal. This guy also has life steal anyway. This guy has life drain. Split. Uh, split after, um, first of all, higher high cost. Spell split after three weeks after the spell ends. Cooldown 70%. Cooldown? That is for the wand itself. Right? Yeah, 0 0.4. This is useless. Um, let's try the split just to see it. Okay. Yeah, it, it's splitting, but once again, mana issue is going to be a thing. We're going to go tracking shots. What happens if I split you? Nothing. <laughs> Wait, the bigger IOE actually works on its feet. Right? Yeah, it has smaller feet now. Like this, it has bigger feet. No, I might be wrong. Uh, no, I might not be wrong. I might misclick. Yep, I'm actually right. That's cool. Also, there we should go on this. The mana should go on us. And I should have just one plus one. Yeah, this way I can actually maintain it. Wait a minute. The fact that I have one less laser makes it maintainable. The moment I add another laser, it's no longer maintainable. I'm gonna go with this. One less laser. This is not needed. I think we're ready to go. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's do it. Leroy Jenkins. Yep, I'm just doing normal attacks. Poisoning opponents. Wait, why do I poison opponents? We got a we got a super an upgraded spell on the right. That's important to get, obviously. Nice. I need to go as close to points as possible. Oh, that is not true. <laughs> the reason why I thought it's true is because I want my what bouncing shots are these? I want my lightning on the ground to be set up close to opponents. That's how I thought about it. Might be wrong, though. Maybe I should even go in an Arcane Explosion build. Like, have my May Wand be the this, this thing down here. Uh, so, let's put the weapons on the right. Just so I'm sure. Let's go to the upgraded spell. This always gives you an upgrade spell as far as I understood. Okay, I need to track. It's an upgrade spell. I mean, uh, yeah, easy. I, I'm better at eye tracking. It's here. <laughs> good thing I stopped using my mouse, by the way. Because I'm really good at eye tracking, but I'm not good at using my mouse at the same time. So, charge up a spell. Whoa, boom! This looks so cool. This looks so cool. Whoa, boom! Whoa, boom! Wait a minute. Can I not do this? Oof. Ooh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I have enough mana for this? I don't know. Let's do it. I don't need the spell power right now. Let's go. And then everything is gone. Love it. And then can I also add even more stupidity into this? Wait, we need mana. Man, this is so stupid. Let's do it. Fire mana. And everything is gone. Uh, I don't think we're gonna use this. I'm gonna use it in one fight only. Let's see how this is gonna go. Well, they survived. Well, it's not as crazy if I don't have the mana. Hiding time. I can click, click, click a lot of times, by the way, if I need to. I'm not forced to stick to madness or not madness. Power up my laser. I'm ready. Okay, not, not as crazy. Not as crazy as I would have hoped. Not, not even remotely as crazy. Let's just start clicking so we get the arcane explosion firing whenever it fires. I got poisoned, I think. Yes, I got poisoned. It looks awesome. It is awesome as an idea, but it's not good. Throw this out. 
Uh, you go to the right, you add the damage, add the other buff, and add the other buff. We're back to where we used to be. So, knockbacks higher, increase movement speed, who cares? Damage based on money, no. Let's roll them. Display enemy HP, maybe. Uh, immune to slow, still slowed when casting spells, but movement speed plus one. Okay, ah, we're going here. Didn't get good stuff. Let's get spells, I would say. The good thing with spells in general is the fact that you gain more and more and more power. There was a key there. Wow. I'm pretty sure there was a key at some point somewhere else too that I missed. I have to say that the summon is really powerful, man. The fact that it just, first of all, tanks a bunch of stuff. And secondly, it uh, it just... Oh, it doesn't chase down opponents. No, it does chase down opponents. That's what I want to say. Like The fact that it chases down opponents and um, it just also regens a bunch. Man, those explosions were not fun. By the way, good thing I have 5 health per room. I'm losing 10 life here. Fight. Key and key. Okay, let's see what we get. First of all, let's open this. Hopefully it's gonna have a key inside. It didn't. It had a bunch of money though in a potion. Potion is immune to venom. Yeah, whatever. Let's do it. The right spell is released when the left spell ends. And 20% damage inherited and the projectile thing. Okay, obviously I cannot open that up because I don't have a key. And I cannot even go over there because I cannot fly. Would be nice if you could break chests and they maybe give you like three coins or something. Anyway, uh, shop for money. I do have money for a shop. I would say max life. I don't have that much money and I want to keep my money for re-rolling. Is what I would say. Also, I'm starting to think maybe I should put... You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking... Uh, what is this? The tracking shots. I think laser is tracking anyway. So I'm thinking about shotgun laser. Like, remove the tracking. Put this in. Do this. Switch these. You go there. You go away. You go here. And then I go like... Um, the thing I just got. So I'm shooting laser. And whenever the laser hits something, it shotguns, shotguns it, to the, it to the face. That's what I'm thinking here. I think this might be good, right? So the laser is tracking anyway. And when the laser pops, it's gonna shoot a shotgun at the opponent's face. Max life or I'm gonna go spells. Just need to power up. Oh, it's it doesn't work how I would have hoped it would. Yeah, this is not as useful. Uh let's do the same thing with butterflies. I don't know. Whoa, we're getting damaged. Good thing I have healing. With arcane explosion would be a play. Yeah, the shotgun thing is just not a thing. Maybe even with electricity on the ground, it might be a play. Right? This is after the spell ends, it sets up some electricity. Yeah. Let's see what we get. Spell hovers in place after two seconds it ends. Uh, connect a summoned creature and deals 20 DPS. The nearby enemies are connect to summoned creatures. Okay. This obviously goes here. And now I can boom. Nice, now I have this connection. Um, I would like to maybe try this out. Yeah, wherever the laser hits, it should kill everything there. This sounds insane. This looks insane, at least. Uh, yeah, you need to become something else. I would say it shoots a projectile out in electricity. Yep, so it's even ranged. That's even better. Oh, 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 butterflies with electricity. No, it's too expensive. 99. This thing is 106. This costs 8 plus 99, No way! For one mana! Uh, MP cost... Yeah, that's the play. No, that's not the play. You go here, and you go here. Nice. This makes cost less, but the charging part does not even happen. Three butterflies, and... Boom, I guess. Yeah. Three butterflies, and whenever they hit, boom. Okay, I do enjoy this. I do enjoy this. That's how we're gonna play this. With uh, less mana cost. Which is so stupid, by the way. But let's do it. Relics, obviously. Yeah, I would say the arcane explosions are worth it. Laser beam boys. Yeah, whatever. I like how freezing works. Yep, and electricity works out too. Nice. Whenever the butterflies come along. I will also stop attacking once in a while. Here we go. Nice. Nice. See what we get. I could do the same thing with electricity actually instead of the arcane explosion. Uh, max HP, body size, and recoil. No, 8% chance to get a coin, 1% chance to instantly kill a non boss enemy. Ah, this is good. I'm gonna go with this. 
25% of current coins against the poison. Let's actually drink the poison because it's trash. And let's go to the boss. Okay, I would say in the boss fight, I would like to be able to attack often. So we're going to rotate back to the spell build we had. Let's actually try this. This is even faster mana spending. So we're going to go back to what we had. I'm going to say you go here and these flip. This also spends a lot of mana. I have a laser within a laser. This does not spend that much mana. And this is what we're going to go with. Laser shoots lasers. Because I have two of them, they fire each other. Nice, that's what we're going to go with. I'm thinking we're going to stick to the rest as they are. Summon the pet again, just in case, and let's go. The cage. The cage, let's do it. Cage, do, 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 do. Do I do even enough damage? Doesn't feel like it. Uh, the only thing you have to do with this fight, by the way, is just stay away from the laser eyes. As long as you're seeing where the laser eyes are, you should be good. I'm about to get hit. Okay. See, I knew where they were, though. Uh, stay away from me. For me, okay. I mean, the easiest solution, by the way, this guy never go close to him right now because there is more. The easiest solution is to avoid the tube is just always be in a diagonal. And we fight the good old cloud. I need two mana regen. Nice, let's begin. I would like to get poison, by the way, which is a thing I still don't have. Laser beam time. Right, right rotation. Ah, nice. I'm gonna stay close to not the middle of the map. Go close to it always. Let's fight. I lost my pet. Let's summon it again. A good thing that... Yeah. yeah. I was immune to what? No, it was immune. A uh, corner. In this boss fight, just stay in a corner, man. As long as you're in the corner, you should be able to see everything coming. And then just go close to it when it does anything that is not corner play. Let's summon the pet again. Pet is helping, as always. Whoop, I got hit. The pet's most likely gonna die. Yep, it did. Summon it again. Let's go. I'm at half life, by the way. I'm gonna heal anyway. Laser beam again. Pet's gonna die. But we electrify this like crazy. Let's go. And we won. Nice. Be sad. Let's go. Oh, what is the pet called, by the way? Mr. Key. Mr. Key. Get all the meta progression of the world. And let's get a new wand. Ooh, this is damage wand, it seems. So, besiege. 220 against the rainbow electric net. So, Besiege is 220 mana, which is really good. 60 mana regen, which is also really good. The low interval, big cooldown. I'm okay with this. This is low cooldown, low. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, and Scatter plus 2, which is almost nothing. Full Salvo 3. So, that means that it shoots 3 of the spells on its own. Full Salvo means it fires all of them. MP cost 130%, which is bad. Final damage 130%, which is really good. And then two times spell damage, which I already have one, so that's just a spell damage upgrade. This is gonna, wherever I get, it's gonna go to the sword slot. Rainbow Electric Net is uh, the less mana. This is crazy mana, though. Less mana, same mana regen. Crazy attack speed, very crazy attack speed, actually. A lot of scatter, less mana cost. This is more mana because this is less mana cost. And it gives us a split. And it also gives us a spell cast simultaneously are chained and deal 9 damage to object along the path. And then it has a, shot, a shotgun effect with a rainbow. So the idea being that all of these are gonna combine with each other and electrify. Um, I would say Besiege is the play, right? Besiege against the sword and this final damage and spell damage should power up the pet. Otherwise I'm gonna just switch these and have this as my main weapon. 0 0.2 cooldown is a very fast cooldown. 1.2 is very... Uh, this is you click once and everything dies because this is a full salvo 3, which means all of the spells that you're going to put on here are all going to fire at the same time. And I don't have powerful spells, honestly. Like a laser beam, for example. I think this fits more to what I'm doing. Like, this is going to be the main build weapon, I guess. Let's try this. So, I'm going to switch the sword. Nice. And uh, let's see what this looks like right now. Okay, man, it's gone already. Uh, obviously, I would like to not have this going on. What does this look like on its own? Okay, on its own, it already is insanely awesome. Okay. Uh, we lost the spell power plays that we could have gotten. What does this look like now? Is that Was that a more split? You know what? I cannot understand it with this weapon. He said and then used the harder weapon to recognize. Uh, this. Okay, so it's six. It does actually go higher. Nice, so I can do this. 
You know what? This is actually a good weapon to use for this. This also has a 50% more damage taken to opponents. Uh, yeah, we should go down here, by the way. We no longer have the mana issue I previously had. Another thing can fire. I mean, I had the mana issue because I did something specific. Yeah. Uh, can I charge these up? Yeah, boom, boom. Ah, uh, maybe that's better. Yeah, let's go with charging up. But then I'm not gonna get the spawns. Oh no, we're going with tracking shots. Let's try this. At most, I might do this. Right? So, uh, we're gonna see. I think this is good. Otherwise, I can also do this. I do enjoy the butterfly idea. And then when these are gonna die, they're gonna split. Nah. Let's go with this for now. Let's go for this. And let's see how it's gonna go. We have so many choices as to what crazy thing to create, by the way. Yep, off to the next one. Uh, I just realized something. Is this a fight? No, it's not. Could I not get the thing that says the, the shot pause in the air? And then they just stay connected with electricity and whatnot? Yeah, it feels like I'm setting up electricity. Same vein, butterflies. So they fly electric with electricity, and then they stop. And then after a while they split and fly even more. And then they stop again. This could be a thing. For now, though, for now, let's try without the pause and with triple shots. Yeah, let's try this for now. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Doesn't feel completely busted. But does damage. Yeah, this, this definitely does damage. At least to trash enemies. Does it? Doesn't feel like it does. There are a lot of opponents that split in this mode. A lot of opponents that split in this mode. Here we go, a bunch of opponents again. I don't have good attack speed right now. Yeah, no, I'm not doing damage. Whoa, the arcane explosion madness is insane. I take back that I'm doing damage. I think the split shots should be comboed with the arcane shot. Whoop. Just threw away one of the most important things we have in the build. I think that should not be a thing, by the way. 999 damage there. I'm thinking the following. I'm thinking we get that... I have an idea, I have an idea. Give me a second. Are we done yet? No. There are ideas. Maybe I should have gone with a crazy damage, by the way. Maybe I should have gone with other one. Uh, yeah, I, I most likely should have gone with other one. So I'm thinking the following. I'm thinking we get split within splits. And then we say forget electricity. Uh, these can stay. That's tracking damage and whatnot. Mana and max mana. Uh, you know what? For the time being, let's say we don't go with damage. And we also don't go with crit chance and whatnot. This does not have... It has a scatter, but whatever. So right now we have only splits, right? I'm saying we go with when the split... Uh, wait, can I do something like this? And then with, for example, butterflies? Yeah, it's gonna spend a lot of mana. Or with laser beams, for example. Okay, so I, I didn't want to do that anyway. So I'm thinking we go with the splits within splits. And then we say after the splits end which is duet, right? We go with something here. Yeah, right now it's lasers, for example. Or if I do this. But what I want to do is put the explosion on this. And now when it hits, that's exactly what I want to see. Boom, boom. Yeah, that's what I want to see. I'm not sure if that's a good idea as a build. And also mana region is an issue. And that's how you're supposed to actually switch wands, by the way. Like you do what I just did, and then you switch wands. And for example, I can play with the third wand for a bit, then rotate back to something else and go back to the bomb, 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 bomb explosions. Let's try this. Uh, there is another duet here. Uh, what would I like with a duet? I would say the butterflies. So I'm going to go like this. Boom. And then when these hit something, they explode. Nice. Uh, let's try this. First of all, I have enough money to reroll. So I did this whole thing for no reason. The time has come to craft something insane. Let's see, do I have anything three times? No, it would have been first anyway. Okay, so time to reroll some stuff I'm not using. First of all, I'm not using the rainbow beams. I don't think I will ever use the rainbow beams. They spend too much mana, and I also don't like them. I'm, I skipped them, by the way, twice. Boom, and boom. And I got an arcane explosion, might as well keep this. I'm gonna go with a rock and ball. And we got two times damage. I'm never gonna use this. I mean, it spends so much mana. But first, let's go the this. Okay, I got two times electricity. I'm not gonna use Legwire either. I think. I do have the laser beams and I do have my nice little thing I enjoy. We got triple split. 
We go double butterfly. Uh, tracking stays, mana stays. Do it twice. Ice is not gonna get used. Actually, I'm already using ice. What am I talking about? Cooldown is useless. Yeah, cooldown is actually useless. I got triple spell damage. Nice. So, triple spell damage becomes... First of all, triple splits become uh, not super expensive. Split five times. Nice. And 50% damage instead of... And better... Uh, I guess, rooming. What is this? Last spell? 65% magic. This is insane. Hmm... Now the question is, what do I throw away? This became a lot cheaper, by the way. Uh, the split is a lot cheaper now. Oh, this is a good chance to, chest to test out my build. Yeah, a bunch of is happening because of the butterfly thing I made. Uh, but do I want that, or do I want explosions here close to us? Not that. <laughs> that was a bad switch. What am I doing, man? What am I doing? Explosions and explosions. Nah, no, I do enjoy the butterfly. Butterfly, but you know what? Let's throw away the arcane explosion here. We can combo that and a bunch of things. Not split. Yep, triple electricity. Very nice. What does the triple electricity do? It uh, increases double damage, increases meters a bit, and then thunder can be conducted three times, five times, and then spell damage 130 times if only one enemy is within. That's nice. This became a bunch a lot better. Okay. What? It also makes it more expensive? Boo. Well, this is no longer possible. I guess laser beam. So at least the laser beam makes it so that the, it spawns on the opponents instantly. That's the idea here. Uh, what was here? Spell damage is on us, I would say. I don't know what was here. I guess it, the spell damage, right? Uh, 20 DPS with... Uh, 20 DPS with this. Where's the spell damage? With this. Is it still 20? 28. Okay. I think I want to stick it on me, though, because I want to do this explosion thing. And it looks cool. 500 damage. This does not need to be this. It can be a laser. This is 5.4 mana. This is 2 mana. Yep, this is a lot better, actually. Because the laser also have tracking. The laser projectile splits into laser projectiles. So let me actually wait for this to be done. And I want to see this in action. Let's see this in action. Okay, and my DPS is 300 and uh, maybe a bit more. Yeah, about 300 something. And with the shots... Oh, this increased 50% damage. I forget about that all the time. The 50% damage increase is important. Ah, it's almost the same thing. And at the end of the day, I also have tracking shots anyway, so there is no real reason to go for that. Uh, do I want to get butterflies or do I want to just combine them? I would say let's just throw the butterflies away. This is also useless. I'm not going to use it. Although I could. There's no real downside at using this. Ah. Uh, nah, I think electricity is useless. So this goes away. I threw it on the ground. Electricity goes away. There is money here to be had. Let's actually pick up the coins on the ground. Okay, this, this stays for sure. This stays for sure. Actually, this even joins right away. So that we get all these buffs. Nice. And yeah, butterflies go. I'm not using this, man. Maybe I should shoot this away. Although it makes us... How does this work? Left spells, release spells at 80% while in flight. How does this work? This function. What is the while in flight? It doesn't do anything. He's not doing the thing. These are useless. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say the butterflies get switched. And this should also get switched, because this is a rare upgraded passive that I'm not using. And that's extremely stupid. I can easily find a better rare upgraded passive that I want to be using, right? So let's actually roll that away. Attached wand will fight for you. Wand MP regen, 60% though. So that's a free wand, pretty much. And this is a stupid free wand, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say no. This is good. I mean, I could put it here. I could do it th like this. It's the same thing, but without the chance part. But this is the legendary, and this also reduces the mana. Nah, it's, it's, it's not worth it. Let's get another one. Electricity is better. You know what? Might as well throw away this for 160 now. Lightning dash. Channel spell. Invincible while casting. What does this look like? Okay, what does it look like DPS-wise? 
No, I prefer exploring those runes. This is tier 1 anyway. Uh, yeah, that's gotta get rerolled. Freeze an opponent. You know what, I have that twice, might as well keep it. Let's reroll this into freeze an opponent. Crit chance 5% deals. Uh, spells deal same damage to one other enemy within 7 meter radius if it crits. Well, that's good for this part. Because we do crit. Mana region stays. Yeah, we do crit, so this is more damage, pretty much. Ah, let's reroll the way. Imitate the next spell. Wait a minute. Can I do this? Can I have two of these? No, I can only have one. Yeah, I cast this one. Come on. Yeah, now it's gonna cast this one, and we still lose both. Why is this blue and this? Ah, anyway, can I do this, though? Or 40% uh, max HP on that. Also given our ice. Or, or or the two of these. Nah. I can make it more durable though. Yep, I think this is good in general, the mimic cube. I think it's a good thing to have. I would like to get you know what? Butterflies need to go. Butterflies need to go. Nope. I skipped them by mistake because it was the number two and I skipped the number twos. I have 12 coins. Arcane explosion might as well stay. Uh, volley. Uh, volley is that it shoots all the projectiles at the same time. For every one additional per shootable spell, the MP cost of these spells plus a time 87, so that's cheaper and scatter. Uh, wait, could I not do th this and the volley there? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, so it's now it just now it summons electricity around us. Now I would like the electricity to go where the opponents are. Yeah, let's actually stick to what we had. Although, does it spend the mana cheaper, though? Ah, I wouldn't say so. Let's go. We really have mana issues. Uh, let's throw away... Am I even using this? I'm not using this. I'm not using this, I'm not gonna use it. But first throw this all the way. I don't want another one of these. I want a laser, if possible. And now it's about to break, I think. Vicious Crystal. The hit target movement speed is 60%. Its spell projectile speed is 80%. You know what? That's another buff for my beloved summon. Nice. And now this thing actually slows opponents down and I don't know what else it does. And uh, Chain Lightning is useless, I guess. I think that's it. I think we're ready. Let's go. I can't combo anything. Jeez, what does the chain lightning do? Just more damage. What does the laser get? Penetration plus one. Penetration becomes reflection. Crit chance 25%. Wow, this is, becomes very powerful. Some damage. This is a 40% crit chance and no accuracy miss. Eight weaker projectiles. Six mana regions, nice. Mana region. This is very boring. Magic bullet plus 100% more damage taken. More damage from the other one. What does this do? Generate an arcane explosion. A real arcane explosion. In radius of 0.7 times when killing an enemy. Oh, it's a, it's a real size. Hit the target for 3 seconds. I mean, the next spell up to level 2. 80%, 5 HP regen. Better debuff. 40 DPS. Uh, what is this? Increase spell damage equal to the half amount of 1 remaining MP. This is good. Radius 60. Projectile, 106% if only one opponent. Less cool on the 1. That's awesome. And 60% uh, chance. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's go. Let's go. I'm sorry for the delay here, but I mean, you need to read things for this game to actually go well for. Okay, so I'm supposed to have a lot of burst. Whoop. Survived. Yeah, I mean, the burst is definitely there. Like, we definitely have burst, but we don't have mana. I can use the laser beam wand on my own anyway. Boom. Yeah, I missed. Why am I missing with this? Let's go again. Start firing all the explosions. I'm gonna be bad at boss fights. That's what I'm predicting. Let's go. By the way, there are skins in this game where you can start with more passwords and whatnot. The game has a lot to offer and a lot of things going on for it. Let's wait for it. Let's go. Mop. Mop. Yep, you do whatever you want to do. And let's get a relic that gives mana region or something. Chance to not get hit. Chance to obtain a new potion every time you use a potion. The ra you know what? I had the potion that says your money becomes money if you don't spend the money before you spend the money. Let's go with 20% AoE. 
Yep, I get more money based on how much money I have. I'm so sad that I didn't use that. Increase casting interval and cooldown of the one by 10%. No, 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 no. Uh, let's go with uh, more spells. Especially now that I combine them. That's an anti-curse for 10 life. I'm gonna just drink it right away. I want to drink it right away so I can get rid of the curse right away so I don't have to deal with it. Oh, and also I wanted to lose the life. I'm gonna switch once here. And set up some laser beams. Okay. Switch once again. I definitely need better mana regen. Like, I'm spending too much mana. And if I'm gonna be spending this much mana, I could have also been going with uh, just, you know, hit once and everything dies type of build. Also, I should always stick close to my this boy, because he literally blocks projectiles and everything else. Let's see what we get. That's a dangerous play where these dropped. A rare and a leg. And these are useless. I'm not gonna use them. This is useful. It's part of the build, theoretically. Uh, shop against max life. I don't have coins for shop, but I do have a key for... Nope, I don't have a key for... This was gonna be a rare item, obviously. Let's go. A rare spell, but we didn't get it in time. We didn't get it flat out. Forget the in time part. I should be shooting rarely, by the way. That's the play. Just shoot once in a while. Because you have a lot of AoE. And there need to be things on the screen for AoE to matter. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Just shoot three or four times. Get my AoE done. And that's it. Perfect. Oh no, I'm losing my little pet boy. I'm kidding. We won. Nice. And we continue with relics, as always. Yep, you're done. Yeah, they try to come close to us, but we have a boy that literally freezes them on the spot, so, uh, no. <laughs> I said, do enjoy this. I would like to put on my pet poison. What is this? Permanent increase max HP by minus 5 or plus 15. I'm taking the gamble, always. The gamble uh, worked out, I think. I didn't even try to check. I would take the gamble if it worked out or not anyway, so why would I know what the gamble did? Nice, got the damage done. Let's see what we find. Movement speed. Two refreshes. 20% chance to get him. You know what? We're going to refresh these. Two refreshes. Nice, I can take that. No longer slow down while casting spells. Relic options. Uh, I think uh, more relic options is better because already from that, we real you should have realized, or at least I realized already from the fact that what just happened, we... Uh... By the way, I didn't get... A uh, a deal with the devil today. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, yeah. It's better to have more choices than more rerolls, because rerolls can give you the same choices, while the more choices cannot give you the, more ch the same choices. I'm just doing damage once in a while. This guy's super durable anyway. He has two times troll blood, so that means he has 40%, 80% life and 5 regen or whatever. Man, this, this boy is really helping. My boy Keg. Keg, right? Key. Uh, money against... Spell. We're gonna continue with spells, man. At the end of the day, you need to get a bunch of spells anyway, because otherwise you cannot get them to... Um, yeah, like, you need volume to be able to combine, as you need to find three times the same spell to... Um, yeah, you need to get three times the same spell to combine it. And then you need to find it another three times, so that's nine times. Also, I think one of the best relics in the game is that when you kill an opponent, you gain mana back. That's a relic. Oh, I got hit. It's okay that we have a lot of healing. Come on, man, die. He's you got him, Key? Nope. I'm going close, so we do 15 damage per second on this guy. Nice, we got him. Let's see the dice. Nice, an arcade explosion and a snake. That's useless. I mean, it's not specifically useless, but I'm not using it. What is this? First time I'm seeing this boss. Ever. I think. Yeah, I don't remember fighting this. Oh, it is the... It's the... Where are we? <laughs> no, 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 no. I really enjoy that Keegan is slowing opponents down and making their projectiles be trash. Whoop. Key. Not Keegan, Key. I appeared on poison. Whoa, 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 whoa. And just like that, I lost like 3d, 4d life. Are these ever gonna go away? Because they seem to be lasting a long while. Spawn key. Spawn my pet. Ugh. Yeah, they do not feel like they're going away. And I really don't like... Oh, he is walking below me. Do they literally not go away? If they don't go away, we're gonna lose. Yeah, we're gonna lose. 95 life. I don't have my pet, by the way. 
summon my pet again. I don't have room, man. I don't have room on the board. Summon my pet again, again, again. Stay away from me, please. Okay, they do despawn. I just saw some despawn. But they're too much. This is a thing they should change, for example. Oh, I'm dying. Uh, I'm actually still alive. I almost died there. Uh, spawn key. I have 62 life right now. I don't have damage. Go, go, go. Summon number three, please. Summon number one. And we won. Foo! 62 life is not enough, but we're gonna heal here a bit, and then we're also gonna heal through the rooms. I'm telling you, healing is forced on you in this game. Two upgraded ones. Okay, that's a useless one, but we're gonna roll it. And Echo Plus. Left spell, release right spell at 65% magic cost when they hit an enemy with a faster release interval of 0.2. Okay, so this is obviously better than this because this is, gives damage to this thing, but this is only like a 10 damage hit. I'm gonna go with... Um, it's 65% cost, so this happens more often, is the idea here. I'm gonna go relics. Can I actually do this? Yeah, I can do that too, obviously. Let's spawn my pet. Uh, let's open this chest, because it might give us health, exactly. I'm out of energy. You know what? When I'm out of energy, I should just rotate over to the third wand. That's what I'm gonna be doing from here on out. Whenever I'm out of energy, just rotate over to the third wand. And shoot a little bit with that. Yep, just did that again. Rotate back again. Easy enough. Another boss. More things on the ground. Man, I, I believe you need poison. What is this attack? <laughs> Bones that hit bones. Bones bouncing that bounce that bounce that bounce. Also should be between me and the opponents. So that I get this line doing damage. And we won. Let's get the crazy relic. Spells can penetrate through walls. Who cares? Magic and max MP is decent. No. Uh, crit damage is higher. I'm gonna say roll him. Chance to dodge is nice. Chance to heal is nice. Gain one point of temporary shield for every three enemies killed. So this is every five enemies kill, he killed heal one. And this is every three enemies heal uh, killed heal one. So we're going with this. Uh, max life against money and a key, which we don't have. I would say max health. There is no real reason to go for max health. Other than... Mm, I mean, there is a relic that says you get more damage based on how much health you are missing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why do these things have be appear below you? Yeah, why, why do opponents appear literally below? Unless there was an animation that I didn't see. I'm accepting the fact that I there might... No, I think it appeared instantly. I might be wrong, I don't know. Shoot some lasers over there, so the ground is shaking. Man, I have to say, although the run feels a, a lot worse than yesterday's run, because yesterday we had a god run, it's also... It's hard mode, so this, this should be how the game plays, even if you have a god run. And spells against healing. I mean, this is half health. I think I should go for the half health. Let's take the half health. Yeah, straight up full life. Oh, it's actually temporary shield. I thought it was theoretical temporary shield. It's it's real temporary shield. I still do not have mana. Uh, keys. I do have mana. Yeah, look at this. I have four shield right now. So I'm gonna take four less damage. As long as I get damaged. Otherwise, I'm not gaining anything out of this. Explosion, explosion, explosions. Nice money. Nice. I got everything. Eh, uh, for spell here. I mean, I want spell anyway. Boxes. Okay, opponents are frozen for a whole while and then they still don't die. That's not good. I'm starting to think that what I'm doing here with the um, explosions, with the uh, AOE, I should be doing with electricity. Like, I should do this. But I'm out of mana. Yeah, I cannot do that. Switch. <laughs> I'm out of mana. Oh, and then when electricity runs out, it's... Ah. Well, still I have mana issues with that. I'm not even sure if the AoE is a good idea. Like, I need to be attacked more, so this thing fires more. I think we're losing out on DPS because of the stupidity I'm doing. Uh, let's maybe try what I used with snakes. The snakes, it's too expensive. Lasers. With lasers, it's not that expensive. The opposite. I think with lasers, it's straight up not that expensive. But I can also do this. Maybe this. I tried to find something super cheap, man. 
It's definitely stays 10 mana here, 5.4, 1.4. Yeah, I could also just straight up do this, by the way. It still spends a lot of mana. And the main idea being that I want the these guys to be popping. This is uh, last spell release, right spell magic, when they hit. So it needs to hit. It's okay. Oh, we found a pet. We just found a summon. So rock and roll and pop. Pop is a summon. You can have up to five. Well, I don't need everything to be freezing. I can do this. And can I do something like this? Boom. Come on. Boom. Another pop. Boom. Another. Oh, well, it, it flips Mr. Key, which is bad. Ah, uh, not really usable. Unless I put a resonance rune in this one later and then throw this out, for example. Yeah, this is not really usable. Uh, but it's okay. It's not really that bad. I'm going to stick to this. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick to how I have it right now. Let's go with... I have 55 coins, so theoretically I should go with the... Sh I'm going to go spells, though. Also, freeze could go on my spell. Oh. Nice. So now I can attack actually more. Wait a minute. Is it that when I hit something with Arcane Explosion, it sets up... Oh, it sets up one lightning on somewhere on the ground. That's it. That's what it does. Hey, that's actually decent. I think it's better this way. Also, the Arcane Explosion is huge. Yeah, and look how many Arcane Explosions we're getting for free. Oh, oh. But I'm not getting lightnings, so. though. Um, maybe not what I want. Maybe the opposite? So lightning sets up, and then if lightning hits anything, then it's going to trigger Arcane Explosions. I think that's better. Penetration, yeah, whatever. And Troll Blood again. Well, now I have an actual Troll Blood. And because I have an actual Troll Blood, I'm going to go here. And I'm going to say, you copy the copycat, which is... Where's the copycat? I have lost where the copycat is. It's up here. You're going to copy mana regen, honestly. Boom. Now I actually have infinite mana. Nice. Or otherwise, I could copy tracking shots strength. I have infinite mana anyway. Uh, lose life for opening a chest. That's always a yes. How did I lose Keegan, by the way? Rebound. That's a spell. Spell rebounds. Okay, whatever. And uh, Venom Poison. Uh, well, I obviously will take the Venom Poison, drink it, so I get the plus life and plus mana. And we're gonna now pick up the money as money, and let's go. Okay, yeah, it's actually happening the way I said it's gonna go. So I set up an electricity, and then that electricity does arcane explosions whenever an opponent is close to it. And it does it exactly on top of the opponent. Wait a minute, if that's the case, then I, should, I shouldn't put arcane explosions on this. I mean, what's the idea now? Is the idea I just get more and more arcane explosions? Whoa. Or is the idea... I do a bunch of damage because I'm thinking right now I can put something else on the laser, right? For example, I don't need to do arcane explosions here. I could do snakes or laser beams. And then whenever something gets hit by the electricity, it's going to shoot out a laser beam. 65 mana cost or almost nothing. 3% uh, chance to obtain a new potion every time you use a potion. Remotely control the wand. Uh, you can cast spells up to 5 meters away. Spell mute. I'm not going to take this. Uh, money is power. Or max HP, body size, and recoil. Now we're gonna roll these. Mana region, that's nice. Spells can penetrate through walls. Yep, mana region is on all of these, by the way. HP more uh, based on potions. Every two enemies you get shielding. Now I'm gonna go mana region. And spell forge. Do I have everything, anything ready? Nope, nothing is ready. But I do have things that I definitely want to throw out. First and foremost, the pillars. Each pillar, uh, some of our pillars like can block most spells. Summon limit 24. What? I want to at least see this. This is such a stupid spell. Uh, I'm going to just switch these away. I'm going to get another spell in case of the pillars. Uh, I have two times the split shots now. I'm going to keep these. Okay, next thing that needs to go is... These all stick. The rest all stick. I would say we throw out this thing. Yep. Nope. Wait. Wait. I should put this on my summoning wand. And I should throw away one of the troll bloods. So that this thing now uh, spawns. 
stuff all the time. Yeah, now it's gonna spawn another Mr. Keegan, which is okay. Yeah, it just spawns these boys, which is pretty important in my book. Yeah, now it puts another Keegan out, and in a moment another pop. I think it's better this way. Yeah, so we keep that. And we continue switching stuff. Let's go with electricity gone. Tracking at a better rate. 27. I'm already okay with tracking. I mean, even this Mimic Cube tracking isn't really that useful. Would prefer to either get another split or maybe another enhance. Uh, I could get a lot of better stuff. For now, I would say penetration should go. Can I do this, by the way? And if I now do tracking with this... Is a better penetration tracking good? I guess it is. Uh, well, let's continue rolling stuff away. I would say let's throw away the rock and roll first of all. Okay, let's level that up obviously. Even if I don't want to level it up because it's trash, it's better to level it up and then reroll the leveled up version. You know, it's, it's always better to level up. 15 degree, I got the super degree. Um, yeah, rebound. I, I don't care about this. Rebound is bouncing. Pillar's gone. Mana regen, that's nice. I like where I can go. Magic bullet, no. Rock and roll, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Money is money. I, it took me a while, but I did it. Okay, we lost a lot of money because I didn't do it in time, but I did it. Let's just be like, I did it, boys. Spell power, maybe. Snakes are gone. Nice, I got the laser. Let's get the laser leveled up. It, it gets penetration 1, penetration becomes reflection, and a 25 crit chance. This is insane. Busted upgrade. 50% crit chance. The laser is really good. Okay, laser now is my main attack, I would say. Let's see this in action. Oh yeah, laser is definitely my main attack. Look how fast I'm attacking. 700 DPS. I like this. I love this. I could make it so that I don't freeze. Spell penetration is useless, actually, for us, I think. I can make it so that I don't freeze. This is also useless. And uh, maybe get... Splits within splits. Whoa. How much damage do I have? Uh, that's a thousand DPS right there. Even more damage, I guess. No, but what I was actually thinking about was... Uh, I want duet on my bullets. Yeah, now my laser shoot bullets out or the opposite. It's actually even better, but it spends my mana too fast. No, 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 no. We're going here. Uh, we're gonna split splits and damage. That's the play. Mana region is also the play, though. Let's go instead of damage. Let's go mana region. Actually, let's just not have max mana. And because good mana region is better than max mana. Anyway, let's continue rolling. Spell penetration, I think, is relevant. Let's uh, roll. And by the way, what did I do here? What did this guy used to be? Oh, there was a laser beam here. Yeah, no, we're gonna put the arcane explosion. Could I see the laser beam there, though, for a moment? It's just a carnival show. Yeah, no, arcane explosion is better, I think. Yeah, this is definitely better. Although it spends a lot, a lot more mana, it's definitely better. So, we're gonna stick to the laser here. Let's continue rolling stuff away. Spell pen, as I said, let's send this off. Uh, this is full salvo, which means that it's just gonna shoot all your spells at the same time. This is not really relevant to what I'm doing. No, spell duration. Uh, fits there, but no. Thunderstorm. Might as well, it's part of the build. Let's continue. We have two duets that are... Am I even using them? I'm using that one. No, one is here and one is there, I'm not using these. Uh, duets are useless then. Magic bullet I am using. Crit rate I am using. Dragon I'm using. Spell power I'm using. Yeah, okay, let's let's send off the duets. Mana 3, nice. And power 2, nice. Mana 3 I level up, obviously. So this is mana 6, and only for one slot. Uh, yeah, here we go, boom. And might as well put the box in here. Nice, now I have good... Oh, 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 oh this is insane. Uh, let's see what else we can get. Okay, I think the low navigation is useless. I might get a triple ice. I'm thinking get the triple ice. Or you know what? Throw this out. Got the triple ice. Triple ice is three seconds frozen. Triple ice goes here. And now I'm thinking maybe even reroll the triple ice in something else. 
but no, obviously. Let's now get the next thing. I need a common to reroll. These definitely stay. These all of these stay. I don't even need to go there. So I can literally not reroll anything. I can only reroll this and this. And this common, if it rolls into troll blood, it's nice. If it rolls into spell power, it's nice. Yeah, let's do that. Split shot. Ooh. Wait a minute. This does not. Oh, when the one hits, then the other splits. Let's try this actually. Because this, I think, also spends mana. Right? Mana, 8.1. Yeah. This is not worth it. <laughs> I'm trying stuff out. I hope you guys don't mind. This is the awesome part of the game, in my opinion. Roll him. Nope. Roll him. This is about to break. Whoa. Nice. We got another connected line going on. These connected lines work with my pets. I have a lot of these. This fits. This is part of the build. This no longer fits because I'm going to stick to the good tracking I already got. Right. Where's my good tracking? Here it is. So, good tracking first. Uh, box last because that's unimportant. Yeah, let, let's roll the navigation. Into what, though? Into what? I don't think I'm going to switch anything here. I have an Ukrainian explosion leveled up that's not even getting used. These are staying. This also stays. Oh, I have another power up. And Troll Blood stays too. And Magic Bullet also stays. Magic Bullet. Um, we're not done here anyway. Uh, let's go to the boss and hope for the best. Okay, let's go and see how this is going to go. Okay, explosion. Yeah, let's go. Unspeakable thing. Fire. And that's it for now. Fire. And that's it for up. Here we have it at half health already. And let's not forget I'm getting my pets slowly. Which, by the way, my pets have insane amount of health regen and max life. Am I missing where the boss is? What is happening? Feels like my normal attacks never hit. And they do definitely hit. I'm out of mana. Whoop, avoid everything. I don't need to even do anything. Well, is it the closer I am, the better it is? You can just stay away. <laughs> just stay away. Yeah, I am doing damage. Whoop, it's pulling me in. I cannot do anything here. Hey, what's happening? Excuse me. Guys, where am I? Here I am. I find myself. Well, we survived, so I'm okay. Let's not attack for a moment. Let's go. My pets are dead, but they're gonna respawn, obviously. As uh, that's exactly what I've invested in. Being able to respawn my pets for pretty much free. Opponent's getting damaged, and now he pulls me in. Oh, reverse direction is what he does. Ah, uh -huh. I'm, I'm reverse directed. Okay, I hate that. <laughs> I think reverse direction is uh, one of the most not fun mechanics in any game ever. Reason being that it's just a skill issue, right? It, it, it has nothing to do with... It, it's just, can your mind comprehend doing that or not? Like, if you're not, I guess, built different, then you're not gonna have fun. Excuse me, but... Where's my reward? I guess they forgot to make the final boss drop a reward on you. Wait, was there a reward and I missed it? I don't think so. Let's go. Money. What is this? Congratulations, hero. You have reached the deepest point in the version and the first chapter of sequence content will be invisible. Thank you for your time. Okay, so we beat... Uh, let's let's destroy this guy. I mean, my pets are doing its, the job anyway. Why do I have a super pet? What makes the pet be super pets? Uh, I'm waiting for pets to spawn. I'm, I'm gonna just wait for this guy to um, do whatever he's about to do. There is a... Ch I have a key, right? I don't have a key. I can't even go to the right side. Ah, here we go. Oh, one shot with somebody. Let's fight. Da -da 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 -da. He's doing a slam. Uh, he doesn't lose life. I'm dying. Uh, I am dying. Yeah, I cannot move. We're dead. I could not move. Obviously, this is a force there. That was a forced... Not a forced loss, but my build was not made to beating that. Um, yeah, I mean, we won, pretty much. That final boss there already mentioned that uh, there was nothing more to do. Wait a minute, I only got 9 of red? And only 131 of these? Okay. We are gathering resources very slowly. Does this count for an actual as an actual loss? I'm assuming this counts as an actual loss. Well, if I'm gonna play the game again, I'm gonna still continue playing on hard mode. Uh, because the rest of the game is normal. 
Uh, we definitely need these, man. I definitely need more coin drop. I definitely need more uh, initial money. Like, these are very, very important, in my opinion. Let's actually just invest a little bit of everything. Max health is the most non-important, I would say. Let's just get more money drop. Because money gives you power because rerolls. Backpack slots. I didn't need them, so having one more is gonna just make it so we're okay anyway. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with money drop here. Uh, the rest don't really want any of those. Here is the skins, by the way. You remember I mentioned there are skins? These are passives. This guy, for example, can start with one more shot for 200. Or this guy, you can unlock this guy for 450. Or you can up... Wait a minute. Do I have this? Is this unlocked? Oh, this is unlocked! Okay, tomorrow we're playing the new character if you guys enjoy the game. Magic set. Arcane wand, and what does it do? Remotely control the wand. You can cast spells five meters away. Wait, what? Oh, he starts with a skin explosion. Ah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. I like this. Maybe tomorrow we do an arcane explosion build. That's cool. With electricity, this thing we had setting up. Summoner set, which uh, enters stealth mode if not launching an attack within seven seconds. Casting or charging a spell makes you visible. Okay, and he starts with a summon thing. Dash wand, the dash set. Nice, that seems cool. And this guy doesn't exist, this guy doesn't exist, this guy doesn't exist. Cool, 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 cool. So I'm gonna play the mage tomorrow if you guys enjoy the game. Now, she does nothing. Uh, this guy over here unlocks part of the game. I'm gonna just choose and unlock something. And then she over here gives you more stuff to find. Coming soon on these. But otherwise, uh, when picking spells, you can pick between three options. Wait a minute, this sounds insane. I want this. I want this. Uh, after activation, the following spells can be found. Water Gun, Thunder Core, Pyro Core, Spell Blade, Boomerang, Expansion Stone, Duet, Brilliant, Serial, and Echo. I had this. This, this is active for some reason. Uh, anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to continue playing this if you do enjoy. And don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel so I can see, you know, the metrics go up. And then I'm like, okay, I guess we're playing more of this like I'm doing right now. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.